there's very few places in Florida that still have this charm. Once you clear up the water, everything improves. It's a very special spot. Save Crystal River is a nonprofit 501c3 made up of all volunteers who have joined together to try to save Kings Bay and Crystal River from the invasion of filamentous invasive algae. The problem started about 1993 after the no-name storm came through. It threw a bunch of salt water up into the river. At that time, the river was infested with hydrilla, and the salt water killed all the hydrilla. It went to the bottom, but it started to rot. The algae took over the ecosystem, and it got rid of all of the grasses, and it took a lot of the oxygen out of the water. Animals didn't have any place to live. They didn't have anything to eat. Our mission is to restore Kings Bay to the beautiful, outstanding Florida waterway it once was. The process actually begins in the water with a team of divers using a, a handheld vacuum removal system. They go down the bottom and they selectively remove muck and algae, creating a substrate that isn't suitable for plant growth. Once they've cleaned out an area, the muck travels into a dewatering site. The fine materials become a little more dense, settle in the bottom of a GO2 bag, and fresh water to escape through the pores and return back into the system. Once we've cleaned a full area, we come behind them and plant native plants and they're actually nursery grown. Valisneria americana is the species that we plant. It's commonly called a tape grass or eelgrass. Once it's in the water, we protect it for a period of 12 months, keep large herbivores from ripping it right out before it has a chance to get growing. And we also maintain it and monitor it until it is a self-sustaining ecosystem. And with those plants, you have crabs and fish. We see bass and snook and gar. And it's really neat to see the manatees start to stay here year round as well. Um, rather than push out into the Gulf for food, there's a sustainable food source for them. When the anchor pulls, it pulls all the grass right up. And to do all that work and then to have it all just get ruined, the spuds do not do the same damage. Save Crystal River started a program. Any licensed person can get up to $600 towards two spuds, one on the front, one on the back, or two boats. And when I first moved here, I wondered, like, why do they call it Crystal River? Because it wasn't really crystal clear. Someone had mentioned that I should get involved and help clean the waterways. So I looked into it and realized that they're doing amazing things in my backyard. I'm fortunate to live on the water, and in my canal was, was pretty mucky. And so I saw what they were doing in Hunter Springs and around Crystal River, and realize that this is something that we need to see all the way to the end. You know, we want to restore all of Crystal River, not just the Springs area. So we've got 92 acres in Kings Bay and we've restored about 52 acres. So we're halfway there. And if we don't keep moving forward, then everything that we've done could potentially get reversed. In 2015, we asked all the students in Citrus County to write letters to the legislators to get some funding to clean up our river. So every student in the whole entire school gets to plant in a little classroom aquarium. The fifth graders go to each classroom and harvest the eelgrass in all the aquariums, and they bring it here, right here, to plant. And it is the most fun. It's a big field trip for the fifth graders. There's cages in there because the grass has to be protected for a year. So the first thing we do is pull the cages out and the kids get to scrub the cages. It's really, really quite a learning experience for them. Because you know, of course, we want them to do this for our future because they're going to be the stewards. They're learning how the government works. They're learning how science works, how math works. It's a wonderful experience. I was born and raised uh, on the Crystal River. Literally grew up in a place called Christmas Island, not too far from where we're standing right here. Married to my high school sweetheart who was born and raised in Crystal River. It's where I'm raising my family at. Our heart is here. And so personally, it's extremely important for me and uh, very exciting to see the water quality improve, the river improve, and this project happen. We are cleaning up Crystal River. You talk to folks that have lived here their entire life and they'll tell you, oh, it was the water quality. It was truly a crystal river, crystal clear uh, river. And unfortunately, for many years, uh, it was not. And the quality was going down. And now I'm happy to say because of the work of a lot of different people, that's changing. And you're starting to see that clarity come back. And we think that this is just the start. So it's extremely important personally for me to see it and exciting as the mayor to be a part of it. Community donations are really important for us. We can't always bank on getting government or other kinds of funds. And those funds don't cover everything that we need. They don't cover 
our education, they don't cover our SPUD program, they don't cover our permits, various things that we need to have. The best way to donate would be to go to savecrystalriver.com and use your credit card or you can send a check. We'll take it any way we can get it. If you want to help clean up, road clean up or water clean up, you don't need much background. We'll train you to do whatever you want to do. When I came here in 1960s, this water was crystal clear. It was you could see all the way to the bottom. You could see all the fish swimming in front of you as you went down the way in a boat. You could drop a quarter. It would go to the bottom of the spring and you could watch it go all the way down. It was that kind of a place. And I want my children and my grandchildren to see that again. Their grandchildren, it's a legacy. It's a legacy for our community. It's a legacy for us individually. And I think as Florida, we owe it to our Floridians to make this place as beautiful as it once was.